Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do eyelets and we're going to see how it can be applied to knitting. I'll be starting with uh, two needle eyelets and basically you choose your two needles uh, that you're going to use and uh, basically you transfer one stitch to the left and one stitch to the right. The camera was uh, in the way so it made it a bit difficult to transfer the stitches. You have uh, two needles into non-working position and you, as you can see uh, you bring them out and then what you do is just make sure your latches are open and uh, you just push one needle to the back push one needle to the back and then you keep one forward and then you machine it and then you machine it back and then what you do is you take the loop that you got there and you transfer it back onto the last needle and then you've created your eyelet you can uh, just kind of move the needle forward I sometimes just push the needle to the back uh, so it's just as long as it's on the hook and then you can create your eyelet that way and uh, it's, it's really quite easy uh, doing a two, two needle eyelet. I'm just going to repeat uh, the two needle method. Just choose the, the two needles and the position of where you want those two needles to be. Uh, take one of the stitches on, on the needle to your right and then when you've done that you take the the next stitch which will be on your left and transfer that stitch onto the left side push the needles back so that the stitches hold a little bit better and as you can see you're working with uh, two, two uh, uh, needles uh, push them forward what you can do is just push them forward just make sure your latches are open and uh, basically what you do is you push one of the needles to, to the back to non-working position and uh, then you push the carriage over to knit the, the very first stitch You take those loops and transfer it onto the last remaining needle and this will, will create your eyelet. This is your eyelet and uh, let's try some new stitches. We are now going to do a four needle eyelet. Basically you're going to put two stitches on the left side and two stitches on the right side. The uh, two stitches that you transfer on the left and the right means that uh, when you transfer those stitches there's actually three stitches on the needle. So basically uh, 
one stitch on, on the left side and two stitches on the right side that you need to uh, transfer. Bring uh, two needles forward uh, on the left and the right. Knit over. You have uh, two needles left so you bring one needle forward from the left. Push the carriage over. Pick up the, the last floats or loops and transfer them onto the last needle. This is your four needle eyelet that you've created. Uh, I had done the, the four um, needle eyelets, so I forgot to do the three needle eyelets, so let's do the three needle eyelet. Basically what you do is you transfer one stitch to your left and two stitches to your right. So basically you'll have three stitches on your right hand needle when you transfer them. So you'll have three needles that are in non-working position. Bring the center needle from those three needles that are non-working and bring that uh, a middle needle forward. You push the carriage over to uh, form a float over the first needle. And basically you can see the floats. And I just wanted to show you the two needles that are in non-working position. You make sure that when you push the carriage over the first time that you haven't pushed those needles into working position. You do two stitches first and as you can see it has created uh, two floats and what you do is you take those uh, floats and you transfer them onto the uh, non-working needle set uh, to create your eyelet and uh, basically that's what uh, the three, three needle method looks like. Uh, here I'm just transferring the loops and uh, now we're going to finish off the eyelet. And uh, here's the completed eyelet. You can see it, it's really quite easy to do. And it looks really interesting. I liked uh, the three, three needle eyelet because I thought that was really great. We are now going to do a five needle uh, eyelet. And uh, what we're doing is we're transferring two stitches to the left of the, of the knitting. So your left side needle will be having three stitches. And we will be transferring two stitches from the right side and transferring them onto a right side needle which will have three stitches and this will form the, the five needle method of doing the knitting. You take two needles on the left and the right and you push them forward push the carriage over form the, the loops, push two more needles forward from the left and the right, push the carriage over again, transfer all those loops onto the middle needle, the last needle to do your five five needle method. I actually found the five needle method much easier to do than the three needle method. 
Uh, this is a completed eyelid. I, I really like this one. It was much easier to do, like I said. It was a little bit tight when you transfer the stitches. But as I had the camera in front of me, it wasn't uh, that easy to transfer. Here what I'm doing is I'm just practicing uh, the eyelets and just practicing the different uh, the sizes. Um, I really liked the three eyelet method because it really created a very interesting texture. And uh, I was also trying to learn to space the, the eyelets so that I could understand a little bit about measurement. I found that uh, you should really, when you concentrate on the measurement part, is to just make sure how many needles are spaced from each other because you need one of those needles in order to transfer the stitches on. When I mean uh, transfer stitches, basically if you've got four needles that are in working position, Basically, it's actually three needles because you're actually working the fourth needle to transfer stitches on. I've created the uh, middle floats and basically what I'm going to do is transfer the, the two floats onto the two non-working uh, needles. This is the three needle method. I found the pearl side more interesting than the, the knit side as um, it seemed to have more texture and I thought you know as you do a project you could probably do something that has a much better surface effect if you work on the, the pearl side. I have not really uh, focused on doing eyelets when I do machine knitting a lot. I've just used the, the, one, the, the easier method where you just transfer one stitch uh, to one side and that's basically as far as I've done. Or I've used a lace carriage in order to do some of the projects. Since I discovered the, 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 the five needle method of creating eyelets, I think I might be using that in the future. I just think it's a great idea if you wanted to do something for the summer. And uh, summer knitwear can be really nice with the eyelets. This is the finished sample that I made uh, trying the different eyelets. Um, this is the right side. I, I didn't think it was as interesting. Um, I did do mistakes and then I tried to fix it by pushing the needles uh, forward. And, uh, you know, one does do mistakes. One just has to practice make perfect in doing these. But I did find that when you did a lot of eyelids together, it just really created something really uh, interesting in texture. And uh, with my previous uh, video, I tried doing um, uh, long stitches as well, and uh, just to combine the two to see how they would look. Uh, this is the pearl side, but I found the pearl side way more interesting. It just seemed to have a more textural effect, and I just liked it a lot more than I liked uh, the, the, the knit side and uh, as you can see it was really interesting um, and also how it pulled differently on the sides i would also thought that made a very inter interesting texture I, I would look at other videos uh, to see the effects uh, that are created and some people are also different how they apply it um, thank you for watching the video i hope you liked the video and uh, I will see what next project I'm going to do next. Um, please subscribe and leave a comment as it would be nice to uh, see what you guys think of the video. And thank you very much as I say for watching.